So the coastal management cluster in the CRC has two projects. Uh, the first one's looking at extreme water levels at a national scale and getting a better understanding of the, the driving forces and the different types of conditions that lead to extreme water levels around Australia. And the a second project is looking at the shoreline response to those sort of extreme water levels, particularly storm surge and the idea that from time to time we have clusters of storm surges occurring on the coast leading to greater damage than would otherwise have been the case if it had just been one storm. So that information is being picked up by uh, state agencies including New South Wales and South Australia where we've got two case study sites going on and um, we're using that information to support their planning in the long term and better management of, of coastal systems. This work's important because uh, a lot of Australians live on the coast and we have a lot of assets invested on the shoreline and a lot of those locations uh, where we see these storm surge events occurring and clustering it from time to time. So there's a lot at stake in terms of uh, developing a better understanding of when these events occur and what the impacts are likely to be. I think there's a whole range of stakeholders that will benefit from these findings and uh, the way that these products will need to be translated to make them, make them usable will differ. On the one hand we have the people who need to know where events might happen and how bad they might be and that could be for instance state departments such as the Department of Transport, Coastal Management or Planning and they will need to know where to develop land or where to zone land for purposes and how to optimize their planning schemes. And on the other hand, we can also see federal agencies, for instance, such as Geoscience Australia or the Bureau of Meteorology, who benefit from the science and the data that these projects produce. And at the very other end of the spectrum are the response agencies who can help these scenarios to plan and respond better, and even people who might need to know what type of events might happen in their area and, and the events in the sorry the outputs of these projects in a very condensed format can help inform those kind of questions.